Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a foundation review on the Vare Minerals Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick. Now I have been using the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. And I have been using this for some time now. I absolutely love this stuff for the days that I work my 24s because it's not a full coverage cakey foundation that's gonna get all over my white uniform because I have to wear a collared white button down shirt. And usually a lot of the heavier foundations like to transfer and it's just a big mess. So I really like this, especially because it does have SPF 30 in it. And I love Bare Minerals and their ingredients are usually very good. So when I saw that they came out with the Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick, I got curious. So I went to Alter last night and I tried to match myself the best that I could. I got shade Buttercream 03. I haven't even opened it yet. That is what the packaging looked like. It's actually not heavy, but not light. My face is a little dry. I just exfoliated it and I'm going to Give a little hydration back with the Smashbox So Chill Coconut Priming Water. Okay. I'm just gonna let that sink in. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna be using is a pore filling primer. I'm gonna be using the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Now, if you haven't seen my video, I did a video to see if the e.l.f. Putty Primer was a dupe and that stuff worked really well especially because it's only $8 and I think this is like 54 and I've been using this primer for a long time. So I trust it. I want to use things that I know work for me with other foundations. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is the Cover Effects Gripping Primer. I heard this is a very dewy foundation and this stuff works really good. You have to warm it up between your fingers and then apply it over your face. I really have noticed that as long as it's not a extremely matte foundation, this works great. If it's really matte, I noticed that it kind of really dries me out even more than I normally am. It makes it really sticky, which is nice. So I'm going to zoom you in a little bit so that way you can get a close up of me applying this foundation. Okay, so now that you're nice and zoomed in, we'll get started. I'm gonna do this side with the Beauty Blender and this side with the brush. I'm actually gonna be using the Flower Beauty 3-in-1 sponge. And I'm gonna do one side at a time. This feels really creamy. All right, and I'm just gonna work this in. Now I do know from what I read, this is not claiming to be a full coverage foundation at all. This is a very light foundation coverage. I think it's buildable, but we'll find out. I'm gonna try to see if I can build it up a little bit more. All right, so it did build up pretty good. It didn't make it into a medium coverage, but it did cover up those little hyper pigmented spots that I have on my face. So I'm going to be doing this side with the brush. I'm actually really liking the finish with the brush a little bit better than the beauty blender. So I'm actually just gonna kinda go over this side to kinda blend it in a little bit. It really does look like my skin. It doesn't look like I have foundation on at all. It does even out the skin tone. You still can see your blemishes and, you know, some of your spots, but they're a lot harder to see. It is slightly tacky. I am super dry, by the way. You are probably gonna see a little bit of flaking on the, my forehead and on the side over here. I tried to exfoliate as much as I could. Let's see if I can build it up a little more on this side with the brush. Just feel like the brush gave me a much better finish, yeah. Yep, I definitely like the way that looks with the brush. Okay, so before I put any powders on, I'm gonna give you a quick close up of what the foundation looks like after application.
Okay, so now that we have that on, I'm going to set my under eyes with the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. If you have dry skin, this is a amazing setting powder. I'm just gonna kinda set wherever I put the concealer. All right, so now I'm going to put on the rest of my face and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I'm all done applying my makeup. I did my eyes. Now, I will tell you that I had to stop in the middle of doing my makeup, take care of my son and put him down for a nap and all that jazz. So I actually, I had the makeup done and finished at one o'clock and it is already two o'clock. So I've actually already had this foundation on for over an hour, but I did do a close up so you will see what it looked like right after I applied the makeup. So I'm going to wear this for at least eight hours, if not longer. So far, I will tell you first impressions that it looks like my skin. It is very natural looking, very dewy looking. I absolutely love that in a foundation. I do appreciate the full coverage, medium to full coverage foundations, where it gives you that perfect, flawless, Instagram looking face. But on an everyday basis, I really don't need it. And I will see you during the check-ins and at the end of the night for my final thoughts. guys it is 4 p.m. hour 3 and I'm just kind of checking in with you guys it's not cakey around my nose at all actually maybe it's a little worn off just a little bit but it looks really good I look really dewy but I'm not I just look it and I like it all right, so um, I will check in with you guys later, and I'll see you then. Hey guys, it is 6.30, so that's our five and a half, and things are actually looking really good. It is a little dry, like right here, but like I said before, I was already really dry before, but it looks really dewy. Even the spot actually doesn't even look that bad like it did upstairs. I'm pretty impressed so far. So I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Hey guys, so it is 9.39 p.m. So it has been almost nine hours of wear for the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick. Now, I've been super busy today. I've been running around doing errands, I went grocery shopping, gave kids bath, fed kids. I've ate several times, so I'm going to take a close look and give you my final thoughts on this foundation. There are only two problem areas that I see. One is right by my chin. It is all broken down. You can see that there are spots missing. It's kind of broken up. Tonight I was having asparagus that was baked in olive oil and I didn't realize how much olive oil was on it and it was getting all over my face. So I am really not surprised that it broke down right here because that is where <laughs> I was wearing my food. Just being honest. Um, right here, it is a little bit broken up um, on this side. It is fine on this side. I've got no issues there. Crusty around my nose. It looks a little bit dewy on me, but I am not oily at all. Actually, if anything, I'm actually more drier than I normally is, which is pretty dry because I'm really dry all the time. For some reason, I don't know why, but like, and I didn't use any retinol or anything, but like my skin was like peeling on my forehead and under my eyes. So I'm actually not surprised that it did break down a little bit over here. Throughout the day, throughout the checkings, it looked great. It looked fabulous on. You couldn't even really tell that I was wearing foundation. Now that it's kind of like had it, it's done, it's breaking down. Um, now you can tell I'm wearing foundation. If you are a medium to full coverage girl, you're probably not gonna like this. This is a very dewy foundation. If you have oily skin, you probably will not like this foundation. I don't think it's a very long lasting foundation. I mean, I will try this out again tomorrow when I'm at work and I work 24 hours and I will let you guys know. I will actually do a small clip after this 
foundation is gone from the tip of my nose. It's all crusty around the edges of my nose and it is completely all falling apart around my chin. But like I said, I had olive oil like all over my face, but that doesn't explain here, here, you know, and like I said, I'm really dry and that I will put it on tomorrow and I will wear it for a couple hours tomorrow with a more hydrating primer because I didn't really wear a hydrating primer. All I wore was the Tatcha Silk Canvas to kind of fill my pores and then the gripping primer to try to see if it lasted longer. So I will give you a quick update after this. But I've decided to do a full day two wear test, especially after I applied the Bare Minerals Hydrating Foundation Stick this morning. So, like I said yesterday, I was having some issues with my skin. It's like, almost looked like it was sunburned because it was like so dry, it was like peeling and I don't sunburn and I wasn't in the sun. I exfoliated again last night, but I did with the Dr. Bryant's Micro Abrasion Cream that really got all the dead skin off my face. And then this morning, I used the Cover FX Hydrating Primer, and then I put on my Tatcha Silk Canvas, and then I did the foundation, and not only did the foundation go on like so smoothly it looks so good I didn't get a chance to film a close-up for I left the house so I'm gonna do a close-up when I get to work but I had the foundation on by 5 30 a.m. It is now 6 30 you'll see a close-up probably in about an hour by the time I get to work and do everything I'm supposed to I am amazed at how good it looks way better than it did yesterday because I was having such a bad skin day and I'm starting to feel like maybe that gripping primer whenever I'm you know having some dry issues cannot be used because the last foundation review that I did I used the gripping primer and it kind of like was really gripping to my dry spots so still trying to work on that primer just try to find out how it works and you know there's so many people that love it so I'm trying to find a way that it works for me but this hydrating primer I have been absolutely loving like I said had the foundation on since 5 30 so we'll do a close-up when I get to work and I'll check in with you guys later Hey guys, it is almost 6.30, so that means I have had this foundation on for 13 hours. And this time around, way better. You can still see some of my texture through here. It really hasn't wore off. It's just, those are my red spots kind of coming through. It, real, it actually wore off right here and a little bit right here. My nose... Not so much. I got quite the highlight and a little bit right here. But this is not a full coverage foundation. So, you know, you are going to see imperfections, you know, peeking through. But this is not dewy. It's just highlight and just the way the light is hitting me. But I am way more impressed in the lasting power of this foundation today than I was yesterday. And like I said, yesterday my skin was horrible. So I really think that between being that dry to the point where my skin was like peeling and then using the gripping primer with my, you know, skin was so dry. I didn't really use a hydrating primer because I was thinking it was a hydrating formula, but I'm going to give this a thumbs up. I'm really glad that I wore it again and was able to do a wear test this time for you guys. So yeah, I'm really happy. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you subscribe and make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if this is the type of videos that you like. Ring that little notification bell so that way you get notified every time that I upload a video. I have a bunch of new videos already in the queue, ready to be uploaded. So please join my little family. We are already over 130 subscribers and once we reach 200, I'm gonna be doing a big giveaway. The details of the giveaway are in the description box. All right guys, thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you have a fabulous day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.